<laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, today is going to be my first low buy update. It has been roughly a month since I made the decision to go on this low buy and I have some thoughts, I have some opinions, I have some experiences to share with you. Before we begin this video, I highly recommend you guys go check out my first uh, going on a low buy announcement video, which uh, will be down below and in the cards. In there, you can sort of like see... um my reasoning for going on the low buy, what I expected, what I thought, like my rules. Um, if you guys want a little bit of a recap, I will say that I have made it a rule for myself to buy two things a month, uh, two things or less, and I'm not going to be doing any, and I'm not going to be doing any rollovers. So it's two things every month, regardless of how much makeup I was purchasing in the month before. So anyway, um, my low buy. It has been difficult, I will say that. I will say that a huge reason for me going on this low buy in the first place, and I'm not sure how clear I made that in my previous low buy video, but I was actually quite motivated financially to go on this low buy because um, I am like in the place in a go place in my life right now where I literally don't think it's a good idea for me to be spending much money on makeup. I don't have a lot of money right now. So yeah, since I don't have a lot of money right now for really anything, the idea of spending um, money that I do have on makeup is very frivolous to me. My savings account is very important to me. It is very important to make sure that I have enough money for my needs. So that's why like I have been like just not very interested in buying makeup. I still want to buy makeup. I would love to buy more makeup, but I just can't, I can't really like do that right now. Going on a low buy at this time in my life is a little bit easier because I literally can't really be spending money on makeup and in a way the low buy holds me accountable and the fact that I am so limited makes the low buy a little bit easier for me even though it's kind of annoying because like they're literally like <sighs> Oh my gosh, if you guys saw my video, uh, what's it called? I think it's like how makeup companies uh, make you spend more money or how they trick you into spending more money. But in that video, I mentioned how, in my opinion, I think that companies and retailers, they provide sales as incentive for you to purchase more makeup. And yeah, that's kind of my theory. And I have been tempted by a lot of sales that I've been seeing to buy makeup and I probably could buy makeup like by the same time like it's just ugh, I'm using like so much um at the same time I have sort of like been thinking like what if I uh, what if I just really try to not buy a lot of makeup whatsoever you know and that's kind of like why in the past month I've really not been buying makeup. I do see myself needing a new mascara in the near future, so I'll probably be buying that in the next month, but I don't really see myself buying a lot of makeup and it's kind of been interesting. I will say that it has like it has forced me to be more creative with my content but because before when I was getting like new palettes all the time, I could be like, let's do a swatch party, let's do a first impressions, let's do a review. Now it's kind of like, I can't do any of those things right because I mean I'm not really getting any new makeup or any new eyeshadows so um, yes yeah, caused me to like it's compelled me to be more creative and to brainstorm more and to plan more which was hard at the beginning I think that there was like a week uh, sometime last month in which like I felt like I felt the closest I've ever been to burnout because I had nothing that I could talk about, in my opinion. I, I, I literally did not know what to talk about, and I felt kind of like a failure. So, um, yeah, it's been hard, but I feel like once I pushed through that, I was able to be a little bit more creative. I had more ideas. I still am having a lot of ideas, and that's pretty great. Like, I love looking at my makeup collection right now because 
it's like shopping my stash is honestly so enjoyable for me because I'm literally able to take makeup and use it in new and interesting ways that I haven't really even thought of before. It's really fun. I've been experimenting so much. I've been playing around with colors and textures more than I've ever done. So like on the whole, this low buy, even though it's driving me insane whenever I do my will I buy videos because I because I look at so many of the products in those videos and I'm like I want it so bad you know but at the same time like when I look at it or when I'm doing a tutorial it's so much more fun using items that I've had for a very long time or items that I've neglected to use or favorite items that I just love to use all the time. It's just so much more fun to just experiment with the things I already have. I'm definitely experimenting a lot more. I'm trying to come up with new and better ways to use makeup and I love it. Like I have been creating so many looks that I've been really proud of and some that are not so, that are not so great, but like it's cool and it's interesting and I feel like my creativity is just it's going like it's like it was a little bit of a hiccup i will say that but like my creativity in general is going strong it's going there and i love that and i will say that uh this low buy has caused or has compelled me to think about decluttering in a little bit of a um better light in my personal opinion because right now I mean, I mean i'm not sure if you've noticed but decluttering and minimalism and all of that has been turning into kind of a trend to the point that um it's very like in right now to basically have like huge declutters where you get rid of a ton of makeup you know and that can be a good thing because you're getting rid of because you're getting rid of things that you're not really using but it can also be a bad thing because technically like you're basically wasting a lot of product because if you are somebody who's not like a big youtube guru if you're somebody who's not getting a lot of pr you have basically like been spending a ton of money on makeup and you're not and you're not going to see that money again so if a product is a product that's not terrible how can i come up with a way to use it so it'll be amazing you know it's kind of like interesting to try and think of new ways to use things that I already own to not just like automatically be like, okay, yeah, because this product is not amazing, I have to get rid of it because like that just has to be done, you know? And I think that it's really interesting looking at my collection because yeah, like there are things in my collection that are not amazing. But because I'm on this low buy and because I'm so like, I'm so, um, limiting in my options or because I'm so limited in my options, I am compelled to think about how to use products in a new and better way, how to just like come up with different ways to use things. And it's interesting to do that. And I kind of want to show you like this new item that I got that I was actually gifted from a friend. This is the Physician's Formula Muru Muru Butter SPF 15 lip color. This is in the shade soaking up the sun this is kind of like um a lip gloss in a lipstick form because if you look at it it just like sorry i have to like put this up again if you look at it it's like a very like shiny formula it's kind of like a light pink color but then again because it's like so sheer and because it's kind of glossy it just has like this very interesting effect on the lips i have been using this so much i love it especially day to day it just makes my lips look so beautiful it's very moisturizing and it just makes my lips look look like my lips but better and i love it like this is just something that i've been obsessed with and you know it's kind of interesting because this is such a small thing this is just like a lip product so before going on this low buy i probably would have gotten it and i would have been obsessed with it but then again like this low buy has compelled me to like literally treasure every single makeup item that I have because in a way it's all I have and it's all I can get, you know? So it's really inspiring to be doing this. I don't know how much longer I will be doing this low buy. I see myself doing it I actually kind of long term. Um, there are definitely things, however, that I do want to purchase 
Let me just say that I do have a wish list video coming up soon in which I'll talk to you guys about some things that are on my wish list, some things that I'm, that I'm thinking of purchasing. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited about this low buy because it's been a little bit difficult, but I feel like this has so much potential to really just make me look at my collection in a new and interesting way and make me look at my YouTube channel in a new and interesting way because I will say this and I've said this many times before, but I'll say it again. Posting every single day is not easy because a lot of times um, the default I feel like when you're posting every day is to talk about new makeup that you're getting is to like do like first impressions to do to do like um, reviews etc and when you can't do that you're kind of like what do I do so in a way I'm being forced to basically make new and interesting content or newer and more interesting content without the um, allure of new makeup. I can no longer basically use buying makeup for my YouTube channel as an excuse, if you will. I just literally have to use what I have to create new content for you guys. And it's hard because I'm not used to like not having makeup or not having new makeup to talk about, but it's interesting and I'm looking forward to like working with it a little bit more. I do have some ideas. I've been working on some new video concepts and it's a challenge, but it's interesting and it's fun. And I cannot wait to see what I can do with this like um, challenge, if you will, to see what I can do with my channel, to see what I can post every single day when I don't necessarily have a lot of new makeup to talk about. I'm excited, I'm interested. I cannot wait to see what I can do with this like challenge, if you will, like with this uh, low buy. I'm excited about it, you know? I'm kind of like, I'm looking at new makeup and I'm like really tempted by it. And I might actually get a few things, we will see. There are certain things that I'm eyeing that you might be uh, seeing on my channel very soon. But like in general, this is so good for me because I'm really able to look at what I have in a new way. And I can like just change up my artistry a little bit and I can also change up the way I'm doing my channel, which is really exciting in and of itself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very sporadic, this very like disorganized video. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.